Shalom, Barakata Yahweh, Ba Hashem, Yahweh Shai, Waha Raka Kwedash. Double honors to the men who taught me this truth, the apostles and elders of the Great Millstone. Also, peace and blessings to the hopeful elect. Lord willing, this lesson will be edifying. And just like in the time of the ancient Egypt, the Most High is about to perform a great deliverance. But this time around, this deliverance in the new Egypt or the spiritual Egypt, which is America, is going to trump the old deliverance. The scripture tells us in the book of Jeremiah, chapter 16, and verse 14, it says, Therefore, behold, the days come, which is prophecy, saith the Lord, Yehovah Ba'ashem, Yehovah Shai, that it shall no more be said, the Lord, Yehovah Ba'ashem, Yehovah Shai, liveth, that brought up the children of Israel out of the land of Egypt. But the Lord, Yehovah Ba'ashem, Yehovah Shai, liveth, that brought up the children of Israel from the land of the north. All right, and this is yet to take place, which is the greatest deliverance that's ever going to be recorded. All right. It's yet to take place. This deliverance out of the spiritual Egypt, because America is the spiritual Egypt, pursuant to the book of Revelation 11 and verse 8. And their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city, meaning America. And the dead bodies were the spiritually dead Israelites. It says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt. So America is spiritually called Sodom and Egypt. All right. Egypt represents what? Our bondage. And just like we was released from bondage in the ancient Egypt, we're going to be released from bondage here in this modern day Egypt or this spiritual Egypt. It says, where also our Lord was crucified. And this is the land also where our Lord was crucified, meaning the true depiction of our Lord was X'd out. All right. Our Lord sprang out of the tribe of Judah. That will make him a so-called modern day black man. But the depiction here in America is the depiction of a so-called modern day white man by the name of Caesar or Cesare Bogier. It says, and their dead bodies shall lie in the street of the great city. So that great city is America. All right. And we were spiritually dead. All right. But now we're being revived. All right. Ezekiel, the 37 chapter, which speaks about the land of the dry bones. Okay. It says, which spiritually is called Sodom and Egypt, where also our Lord was crucified. All right. And this is a place of bondage for us. But this is the time that the captive that is hastened to be loose shall be loose. All right. And only one savior is coming. All right. To save or loose those captives. When you read the book of Deuteronomy 28 and verse 68, it says, and the Lord, Yahweh by Hashem, Yahweh Shai shall bring thee into Egypt again with ships. And that Egypt is speaking of the spiritual Egypt, which is America. Because you don't need a ship or a boat to go from Jerusalem to Egypt. Okay? So this is speaking of a future tense, which is now. It says, by the way whereof I spake unto thee, thou shalt see it no more. This is our last captivity. And there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And we were sold on auction blocks, all right, as uh, slave men and slave women, okay? And those uh, um, ships brought us over here by the way of the transatlantic slave trade, okay? So it says, and there ye shall be sold unto your enemies for bond men and bond women. And what? 
and no man shall buy you, meaning, and no man shall redeem you. Only one man shall redeem you, all right, which is the Savior of Israel, all right? Yah Hawashah, Yah meaning he, Hawashah means delivers or saves, all right? And when you read the book of Exodus, the, the 13th chapter, the 14th chapter, all right, all the way up until the beginning of the 15th chapter, all right, it speaks about the Most High, all right, allowing us to be delivered from ancient Egypt, all right? But these times that we're living in, all right, the deliverance from the spiritual Egypt is going to trump that, all right? We're going to be delivered from a sequence of events such as famine, such as teeth of wild beasts, all right? Such as mechanical dogs, power outages, apparitions, okay? We're going to be delivered from the almighty sea hip, all right, we're going to be delivered from ourselves. All right, we're going to be delivered from these bodies. And we're also going to be delivered from the total destruction upon the soils of America by the way of 200 million missiles. That's going to trump the deliverance in ancient Egypt. The book of Isaiah 13 and verse 5, it says, They come from a far country, from the end of heaven. Even the Lord, Yahweh Bashem, Yahweh Shai, and the weapons of his indignation to destroy the whole land. And this is the total destruction upon the soils of America. And we're going to need deliverance from it. All right. And that deliverance shall come on high. Isaiah 31 and verse 5. It says, as birds flying. All right. So will the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shav hosts, defend Jerusalem. So just like birds fly in the sky, that's how the Lord, Yahweh Ba'ashem, Yahweh Shav is, is going to defend, all right, Jerusalem, all right, which is the Lord of hosts, the Lord of armies. And he's going to send his army, which are a, a, a fleet of angels, all right, to what? Defend Jerusalem. And you must be a people before you are placed, okay? And the people are Israel. That make up Jerusalem. But in these times, it's going to be the elect of the nation of Israel that's going to be defended. All right. As birds flying. It says defending. Also, he will deliver it. So this is how we're going to be defended. And this is how we're going to be delivered as birds flying and passing over. He will what? Preserve it. Meaning you're going to be kept from the outside elements, which is that fervent heat. Okay, by the way of 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles. This deliverance is going to trump the deliverance of old. Okay, we're going to be placed upon high. But just like in the time of our forefather Noah, when the Most High flooded the land, it's going to be another flood. But this flood is going to be the lake of fire created by the way of 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles. And the only way that you're going to escape is as birds flying. All right. When you read the book of Genesis, chapter 7, and verse 17, it tells you, And the flood was forty days upon the earth, and the waters increased, and bare up the ark, and it was lifted up above the earth. So in the time of Noah, all right, he put the spirit upon Noah to build an ark, all right, and that ark lifted up the, the those that was meant to be saved in the time of that uh, first cleansing agent of the Lord, which is water, all right? They got lifted up over the waters, okay? So that's going to be the same thing that's going to happen to the elect. They're going to be lifted up over these waters, which is uh, the lake of fire created by the way of 200 million missiles, just like in the time of Noah, Revelation 15, And I'm going to go straight to the point. Verse 2, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And that's the ozone layer, all right? Mingled with the fire from the 200 million intercontinental ballistic missiles. It's going to be as you have captured glass uh, or fire in a glass bottle. It says, and I saw as it were a sea of glass mingled with fire. And them that had gotten the victory over the beast and over his image and over his mark and over the number of his name, which is the elect, stand on the sea of glass 
having the harps of the Most High. So they're going to have the victory of the Most High, but they're going to stand on the sea of glass. And how they're going to do that? As birds flying. And that's going to be by the way of the vehicle, all right, of the elect's salvation. The world deems them as unidentified uh, aerial phenomenons, all right? But we identify them as the chariots of the Lord, all right? That's how the elect is going to stand on the sea of glass. They're going to be in that, in that ark, so to speak, just like Noah. And they're going to be raised up over the flood. See? Verse 13. And they sing the song of Moses. Now, in the time that we got delivered from ancient Egypt, in the book of Exodus 15, all right, in verse 3, okay, we sung the song, all right, of Moses. This time, as the scriptures say, and they sing the song of Moses, the servant of the Most High, and the song of the Lamb. See that? That lets you know that this deliverance is going to trump the last deliverance because Yahweh Shai is going to have a, a, a play in it. All right, he's going to be doing the delivering him and the, and the host of heaven. He says, saying, great and marvelous are thy works, Lord Power, almighty, just and true are thy ways, thou king of saints. All right, our Lord and Savior is going to be in the midst of that delivering. St. Matthew 24 and verse 29, it says, immediately after the tribulation of those days, Shall the sun be darkened and the moon shall not give her light and the stars shall fall from heaven and the powers of the heavens shall be shaken. That's right. Esau taken out of rulership. Verse 30. And then shall appear the sign of the son of man in heaven, which is our Lord and Savior, Yahweh Shai. And then shall all the tribes of the earth mourn. Why? Because they're going to get conquered. And they shall see the son of man coming in the clouds. All right. And that's a dark saying for what the world deems as unidentified aerial phenomenons, all right? These are the chariots of the Lord, the the, uh, the uh, vehicle of the elect's salvation, okay? So Yahweh Shai is going to be riding a, a huge fathership. As Ezra seen it as a mountain, it was so huge. It's, it says, see the Son of Man coming in the clouds of heaven with power and great glory because he's going to be that super angelical force. Isaiah, the 47th chapter, he's not going to meet thee as a man. All right. It says, and he shall send his angels, the host of heaven, with a great sound of a trumpet, and they shall gather together his elect from the four winds, from one end of heaven to the other. See that? And that's the Israelites, uh, which are part of the elect that are scattered abroad outside of America. All right. And this is going to trump the last deliverance. Okay. It was a, a, a great and marvelous deliverance, but this one is going to go down as the greatest, all right, and the last forever. Lord willing, I pray that this made sense and that this was edifying Shalom.